Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, I want to take a look at what you actually get inside the Jingle Miner. This is a Bitcoin lottery miner or solo miner from the Jingle Mining team. Uh, is what we would call the ESP miners. You've seen something like this on my channel already, like uh, for example, the Nerd Miners. And there's been some updates with these devices that just steadily increase its hash rate. We first, we were around 25 to 28 kilo hash, then we jumped up to 55, and now we're up to around 78 kilo hash. So what's in the box and then how to go ahead and get it set up, we'll go through that one more time in this video. So inside... So inside the actual box itself, obviously got some branding on the front side and some information on the back side about the organization, location, corporation, all that good stuff. A little bit of foam packing uh, to pack everything nice and neat. The miner is also in there. We got our various connections uh, for uh, connecting to this particular device, right? Or if we need to add on anything like a uh, wire up a fan or anything like that, we certainly can do that. But it's in a familiar case that have been featured on this channel before, the Lily Go case, and it's just a ESP miner. Now let's switch over and talk a little bit about that and get this bad boy set up. We will need a Type C connection, so make sure you have that handy. Uh, handy. I don't know how to say it. I don't know why I said handy. Uh, but yeah, this thing does not have a fan on it. Uh, a lot of people are going to tell you that you need a fan. It is true, depending on your environmental conditions. But let's go ahead and get this connected to our computer right now. And Jingle Mining has this particular device on sale through their website, which I have linked down in the description below for $49.90. Uh, they offer free shipping. And yes, you can basically get make your own case if you have a 3d printer you can 3d print your own case custom variables there's all kinds of, of different files out there and different products in which you can replicate um, but basically this is a lottery miner with 16 megabytes of flash it only requires 3.3 volts it's the model number itself is called the t display s3 i talked about that in my previous videos and they have a guide here and a video that helps users get started but long story short once you have the miner um, we're going to need a couple files to get started um, and you're obviously your type C connector to connect it to your computer, right? The SSID is your Wi-Fi. We're going to configure all that um, here in just a moment by connecting to the device, but the files we're going to need are right here. So we're going to need to download the flash tool 3.9.5, or you can actually use an ESP32, uh, you know, online tool that we've done with the nerd miner. We just need the actual bin files which comes in a Jingle Miner 12.11, which I believe is the date. So I have both of those downloaded up here in the right-hand corner, and you can see the files right here. So we open this up. These are the bin files that we're gonna actually need. So these four right there, and then the tool itself has a flash utility built into it. So let me extract all this to the downloads folder or wherever you want it, and we're gonna go ahead and launch the utility. A window pops up. And you can see ESP. Now it tells us specifically which one to select. So ESP32 S3 in the drop down right here, develop, and then USB. But my device is not plugged in, so I'm going to do that right now. Hit OK. Then we're going to have another window pop up. And now we can import or get those files that we need. Now, Obviously, I didn't extract it from the downloads folder. So let me go ahead and do that now. So extract all. Just going to leave it in the same place where we got it in the downloads. There it is. And the order of which you want to do it, you can see, look, it even has NerdMiner in here. So they worked with NerdMiner on this. Or maybe they just use, utilized uh, their particular setup and altered the display imaging, right? Because you can change the background, the color, and all that good stuff, the, the information. Uh, so make sure you subscribe and check out JingleMine.com. There's your Twitter or X and YouTube feed. But the format is you want the bootloader, then partitions, then boot app, and then firmware. Those are the, the format or file uh, order that we want. So let's go ahead and grab that now. Go back to my downloads. Bootloader first. Then partitions. Then boot app. Then the firmware. And once we have all of those in there, there shouldn't be any other options we need to check. But let's see here, 40 megahertz. And then QIO is what we want to select. 
I don't see anything else that we need to select. And now we can hit start. And you can see there's start, stop, and erase. So COM, we got to probably choose the COM port. And it picked up on my system. It might be COM6 for them when they did this tutorial. For me, it's COM5. It might be something different for you. So just click the COM section, click the drop down, and choose what's appropriate for you. Now we're missing some information on the right hand side. We need to make sure that's in there, right? So zero X and then four zeros, one, two, three, four. Next one down, zero X, 8,000. Then zero X E, I believe. Yep, zero, zero, zero. And then zero X one and then four zeros, one, two, three, four. Now we have everything replicated just the way Jingle Money wants. So now we should be able to just hit start and get the ball rolling. This is going to take a few seconds, a few minutes, depending on your system. It really just depends. And then we should be good to go to see the device connect and flash. So it, does, it did say it's finished already. So now it's just a matter of connecting to the device, which is going to display a QR code that we can scan with our phone uh, to connect to it and then configure the Wi-Fi accordingly, just like I showed you before on the Nerd Miners. All right, so now I'm busting out my portable portable battery pack because I want I want you to see this yourselves. So we're gonna plug that in, and you can see Jingle Mining showing up right now. We need to scan that QR code that you see and connect to the device. It says Wi-Fi SSID is Jingle Miner, and then the password is Jingle Mining. This is the default settings, and we just need to scan it with our particular device now this thing actually puts out its own wi-fi signal so technically we should be able to connect to it from our computer if our computer has wi-fi capabilities and sure enough uh you can't see it but i clicked my wi-fi i found the jingle miner showing up and i select it and typed in the the ip and now on my screen it's popping up uh, a window i just need to go to that particular device it should give me an ip in which i could connect to or i can find out what that ip is and by going to my Wi-Fi settings, I found it right here. So we need to go ahead and connect to it. I believe it's actually 4.1, but it could be 4.2, I guess. All right, there we go. So now we have it on the computer. And I'm doing this more for you than me. I would just scan the QR code on my phone and connect to it. But we just need to con configure everything, right? We need to tell it the Wi-Fi we're on. We need to give it our, our, our particular... Um, you know, access information, our pool address, whatever pool we want to connect to, uh, so on and so forth. If you're not familiar with all the pools, public pool is actually pretty good. You can always go to miningpoolstats.stream. Now I'm connected to two networks at once. Not only am I connected via Wi-Fi to Jingle Miner, I'm also connected to my main network via Ethernet. But if you go to miningpoolstats.stream, you can look at Bitcoin and see all the various pools out there. Now I wouldn't go with these particular miners, these lottery miners, I wouldn't go chasing the biggest pool out there. Um, so some of the pools that I, just an opinion, would recommend is, you know, public pools one, CK pools another, uh, what else is there? I believe Nerd Miner has their own pool as well, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. But there's all kinds, there's public pool right there, more towards the bottom. Uh, CK pool is, is one that's been around for, for many, many years. And I'm trying to think what else off the top of my head would be a good one to join. But just choose the pool that's best for you. You're not going to be putting this with your ASICs. You're not going to be able to compete with the big boys over there at Amp Pool and F2 Pool and stuff like that. So I'd probably choose a lower pool. Maybe Lucky Monster Pro if you're really interested in that. Interested in that. But I'm going to go check out Public Pool and use my wallet address and everything. So I'm going to leave that the same. We just need to go ahead and replace the address, the Bitcoin address with uh you know whatever it might be just make sure that you copy and put it in there you could change the time zone if you want to i really don't mess with the time zone but you really could if, if you wanted to um and then once you're done putting in your ssid your network and all that good stuff you're just going to hit save and now you're connected and the minor screen will change by the way if you did want to set the time zone uh just here in america PST is negative eight, uh, Mount to Standard Time, or MST is negative seven, CST is negative six, and EST or Eastern Standard is negative five, in case you did want to change that in the settings. All right, and the screen's doing something now. It just flashed because it just sent that information over. And so it should take a minute. Yep, there it goes. Let me pull off this cover for you. And now the miner is starting to connect 
and eventually here we can see a number of bits of information um this is this right now the firmware is at the 55 kilohash i was talking about we can get it up to 78 and these buttons do uh various things that one just powered it off the top one um i believe will change the screen so we need to turn that back on there you go turn the screen back on sometimes these buttons do different things i'm not sure if they programmed it yeah they did so there's the clock block height we can see current difficulty, all kinds of bits of information. So top button um, to change the screen, bottom button to just turn off the screen. And we can flash this guy to have the latest firmware version, which Jingle Mining may have already put out. If not, I will link it in the description. Let's go check right now. All right, so I found the files. I'm going to have it linked in the description, as I mentioned. And you can use the Jingle Mining tool provided uh, through their website, the Flash Tool 3.95, or you can use the ESP tool that's online, uh, expressif.github.io. Uh, I'll link I'll link this down below as well. But you're just going to go through the same process, right? Remember, the first file is the bootloader, and then look at the numbers associated with it. It's zero x four zeros, and then partitions zero x eight, and then three zeros. Boot app zero x e three zeros, and then firmware zero x uh one and then four zeros and then you just hit program file now if these don't show up right because this is the first time loading this website you're just going to go ahead and click add file add file add file you need four total choose the file and go to the correct one you need so after the bootloader is partitions after the partitions it's boot app and after the boot app it is the firmware and then make sure the numbers over here correspond do not leave these what they are right now you need to make sure they correspond to the appropriate file that you just put in there. Uh, otherwise, it will not work whatsoever. But now that you have this in here, you're going to go ahead and click program with your device connected. It's going to write. Take a minute. Once it gets done writing, your device is flashed and you are good to go. Now we are on the Jingle Miner hitting around that 77, 78 kilohash right now. And if the light will stop messing with you, you can see... Thermal is up in the top right. We just hit 50 degrees Celsius. This is why a fan on these devices are recommended and why people 3D print their own cases and then put a small little knock to a fan or a little uh, 30 millimeter, 40 millimeter fan, whatever it might be. But huge shout out to Jingle Mining for providing this Jingle Miner and allowing us to do a giveaway on December 23rd, 2023, uh, this upcoming Saturday from the time of filming. Uh, if you're watching this in the future and it's past that date, the giveaway has ended. But if you're watching this um, when this video is released, come join us this Saturday. There's going to be a few steps for you to come and, uh, you know, participate in, in steps you need to do in order to enter the giveaway. But I would love to have you and we can ship uh, two of these miners to two lucky winners anywhere in the world. But that's going to do it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification button to stay up to date as well. Check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. I'll also leave links down to Jingle Mining and their social media so you can go check them out. Give them a follow. Give them a subscribe. And I appreciate every single one of you so much. So you just have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.